Hello and welcome to my tutorial, my second tutorial in IGK. And this is going to be a very simple thing um, about sprite depth. Um, I've seen a few people over the years on the forums who, who want to know how to use an, uh, or make an isometric type game uh, and they can't get their head around the sprite depth issue. So. I've seen this recently on the forums, so I thought, oh, OK, I have done this, so let's have a think and remember how I did it. Because unfortunately, the game I made uh, was wiped in a hard drive crash Ooh, God, 12 months ago, so so that's all gone. Uh, so I just never restarted it, really. Um, but OK, we've got a blank project. I've already copied the media that I want to use into the project media folder, which I'm sure you'll know how to do. Uh, let's get rid of print hello world, we don't want that. Um, and get rid of that as well. Okay, let's set a resolution. Uh, we'll have 640 by 480, because it's just pretty standard. And more of a done. There we go. Let's just. I don't have to do this, but. It drives me nuts if I don't. So let's just do it in the setup as well so it matches. Okay. And first thing we want to do is just get the height of the screen. That should do that. It's going to be 480 because we've set it, but we'll use that anyway. Uh, and then we're going to load up first image which I called house and next uh, we're going to have to make a sprite in fact we're going to make a few sprites so we'll make a little loop and equal 1 to 10 Oops. next and of course you don't need the next end you can get away with just going next but I'm too used to it and I like to keep it. If you have multi nested loops, it's better to have the end there, but it's not needed. Just as an addendum. No, I'm sure most people will know that now anyway. And we'll make a sprite. My typos are terrible. Okay, that's going to make 10 sprites as it loops around as N. It's going to use image 1, which is the house. Uh, we want to set the sprite offset, because this is fairly important for this type of thing. Again, N, so we set them all. Uh, middle of the sprite, which are now 64, and 96 down. And that's the offset point where you want to where you want to be positioning the sprite down. Up. It'll be easier to explain once I do a bit more, because it's a bit early yet. Okay, um, right, let's just set the sprite position uh, by offset. That will position it at the offset that you've set there. And we'll make it random. Um, hmm, we'll go 30 on 580, I think. That's the X positions. I'm not starting at zero so it never overlaps and 580 is trying to stop it from going over the 640 edge. And the same for this. And um, 120. Come on. No, no, no. 380, because 480 is going to be at the bottom. Uh, right, that's that done, I think. Um, this is the uh, part oh. I need to set the depth. So it's N again. And now this is where we use the height minus the sprite offset. N. The sprite offset. What? Warp spell wrong. Get sprite offset. That should work. 
Au. Oh, offset. What? Let's start again, shall we? I can't believe I'm can't remember this command. Um get sprite by offset. Oh god, blimey. Why? Why offset? I had, I had put it right, I just sort of mixed them up. Right, okay, I'm forgetting the commands here. Uh, right, get sprite by offset, offset. That'll do that. Right, so, hmm, that's what that does. Probably crash. You're doing this on the fly. Okay, we've got some little houses I've designed. Fair enough, that looks like it's floating, but you know, I'm only just setting randoms just to show you the depth. And you can see, they're all working, just straight away. That these houses are basically looking correct, and that's just for positioning your houses. But in a, a game like this, you'd, you'd have it gridded anyway, so they probably wouldn't overlap that much. But you can see that works fine, just from that little bit. Now let's put a man to walk around. Uh, so the load image. Uh, we'll make it to 11 because we've got up to 10 there. Man. Dot PNG. Right. Eleven come eleven. And we'll set the sprite offset here. Eleven comma. Right now, I know the sprite I've made isn't quite at the bottom, so we'll have fifteen on the X, because that's the middle of it, and forty-three at the bottom. Right. Um, set the spot position. Um, doesn't really matter. Make it a bit central. Right now, I'm just going to set a variable up for moving about. There we go, that's right X. Right, I think that's what I'm gonna want. What am I gonna use by offset? No, it doesn't really matter for that, it's only just to get some numbers in. It probably does need to be by offset to be honest, but uh, right, okay. So that should be little man. Load it up. There he is. Oh, you can see he's in front of the houses. Not doing much with him yet, but we've you can see he's working. Okay, we've got if get raw key state. Oh, I'm gonna have to get myself a new keyboard. This thing's wore out. I can't see any of the letters. Um oh, I think it's 39 x equals x plus 1 so you're just gonna basically move the uh, sprite around which again I'm sure most people know how to do just increasing the x and decreasing the x uh, you might be wondering why I never use ink and deck. Um, I'm not entirely certain if it's fixed, but for quite some time, ink and deck is strangely bugged in IGK, and, and it sometimes doesn't work, so I've just got into the habit of using x equals x plus 1 instead of ink and deck. Um, but you can use ink and deck, it'll probably work in this particular example fine. Um, get the uh, other ones done. Oops. I'm going to type too quick again. That's 40. Right, you got Y. Plus 1. Let's just 
test that's working so far, so I'm going ahead at speed without thinking. Oh, well, of course, it's not going to work, is it? I've not put any go to move it yet. Uh, okay, let's put that in for a quick play. Um, set sprite position 11, put my x, y. That might work a bit better. Okay, mm, well, it's not working very well. It's It seems to be working correctly, so we'll I'll just copy this quicker than typing it. And that's gonna be thirty-eight for that one. Get minus one. Okay. And now just to get the depth right, because that wasn't working, set sprite depth. Comma height minus get sprite right, offset y oh no no eleven y by offset there we go in fact set sprite position by offset get that right right well I think that's pretty much it that should work. I do believe. There we go, is Batman running. He's in front. Behind. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Houses have spawned very well there, but you can see it sort of works. Obviously there's no collision. Nothing like that. But that isn't what the purpose of this tutorial is, it's just to show you to get the depth. Let's sneak him in a little corner. Hello? Hello? I'm hiding. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Right, well there you go. That's a uh, basic isometric depth. All sorted. So, I'll catch you later. I'm sure you can see the code there fine. Nice and simple, just shows how quick and easy it is to do stuff in RGK. As I keep saying, and uh, like I say, yeah, I'll catch you next time. One last thing that I've just remembered um, this is the image I made, and just to show you, 96, which is down here, that's the height, that's, that's the switch point, so that as soon as he goes above that, he's going to be behind it. As soon as he's below that, his feet, remember that's where we're using. Um, he'll be in front of it. Uh, and that's basically how it works. Simple. There's probably other ways of doing it. But, um, you know, that's the way I thought of anyway. I'm no uh, expert programmer by any means. But uh, it worked fine. Uh, didn't matter what objects I put up. It, it worked great for it. So, alright. Now I'll definitely catch you later.